Today, I'm going to show you how to create multiple bookmarks all at once in Fourscore using the index function in Fourscore. These Fourscore indexes are the perfect thing you'll want in a large work where you have multiple movements or multiple sections that you'd want. So things like real books or fake books, things like musicals, operas, oratorios, things where you have a lot of things within one really large file, you can now find them all really, really quickly thanks to the Fourscore indexes. And I'm going to use Handel's Messiah here as an example because one, uh, a lot of you are performing it each and every year. And two, there's just a ton of different movements. It's a great example of something that is multi-movements here. So the first thing we're going to do is jump over to the computer and open up a, some type of spreadsheet like Microsoft Excel. And in the first row, I'm going to put the uh, information that I'm going to, to need. So I have the title of each movement or section, and then I'll do the page number start and the page number end so I can create bookmarks for all of them. So back on my iPad here, I need to find the first page of each uh, section I'm going to create a bookmark for. So here I'll just start with this overture and I need to say what is the, the page number of the PDF. So this is page 13. Ignore the page numbers of the, the printed numbers. You'll want the PDF numbers. So so then in my spreadsheet, I'll say 01 overture. It's starting on page 13 and let's see where it ends. And I can scroll down and I see the ending is page 16. Then I go to the next one and I can say two. This is the um, comfort ye. Uh, so then I hear that this would then start on page 17 and I can see where is the end. Oh, it was page 19. Again, you'll wanna use the PDF number 19. So let me speed this up. You don't need to watch me as I do all of it. I think you get the gist now. You enter the title. You can make a column for then the starting number of the bookmark and then the ending number of the bookmark. So you can see this might take a while as we're making all of these entries for each movement we would like a bookmark for. But you can see this would be much faster than using the bookmark method on Fourscore of creating one bookmark at a time. So once you're done with all of the bookmarks you might want, you're ready to import it into Fourscore. Uh, and just as a side note, you can see that I haven't done every single movement with this. At the university where I work, we do this every year. Uh, and so I only did the ones that we include on our annual performance. Uh, so first we'll need to save it as a CSV file. So we can go to save as, and I'm going to choose file format instead of the uh, Excel format. We're going to do this CSV, which is this comma version. Uh, so I'll save a version of that. So then I can find my CSV file. I'll just go up here to the share button. And for now, I'll just go down to airdrop and I can airdrop it directly to my iPad here. So if airdropping isn't an option for you for some reason, you could just put this file into the cloud or maybe you could email it to yourself uh, and then you can open up in your iPad from there. So here I've shared that index, that CSV file with my iPad. I'll go up to the top right of this share button and then I can share it with Fourscore. So if it's not here, like it's not for me, just scroll all the way to the right. You'll tap on these three dots more. And then if you scroll down, you can find Fourscore. So nothing really has changed. Nothing, don't expect much to happen yet. So what you'll need to do is bring up the navigation bar, go to the top left here. And the second one, you'll go to the book for bookmarks. And I'm going to click on indexes. So you can see I've made a few in the past, so I'm just going to click on this Messiah index. So first I'll need to, to tell Foursquare what these different values are. I've done this before and you can set it to default yourself. Uh, but for me again, I had my title, I had start page and end page. And again, if you tap on one of these, you can assign different things. So for some reason I wanted that title column instead of it being the title of the new bookmark. Uh, if I wanted that to be the ensemble or something, I, I could do that. So I'm gonna click out, it's good to go. Uh, and you can use these arrows to go to the different movements, make sure it's looking okay. Again, since I typed it in just now, it should be okay. Uh, and you can go all the way to the end even, and there's your worthy as a lamb. Okay, everything's looking good, so I'll just hit save. And just like that, there are all of my bookmarks that I created, so I can click on any single one, and it'll jump right to that bookmark. So in my index, since I forgot to include some composer information or anything, this would be the time to do so. Instead of adding it to each and every one, what you could do is go to your bookmarks, then you're gonna tap on edit to edit, uh, and then you can go to all. And now I have all of them selected, so I can hit edit, so I can decide to add to my composer. So if I'll tap on composer, I'll type out handle, and you can see I've already have a composer handle, so if I go to the top right here of my keyboard, I can tap, tap 
handle and it'll fill out the rest of it. Uh, for genre, maybe I want to fill out that it was a, a Baroque for me. And which these, don't forget, you can you can rename these. So here I think I've renamed this one for ensemble and I've chosen multiple people. It kind of looks like a, an ensemble for a little icon. And so what I like to do, is, since it's a choral work, I'll start typing out choral and there's my little shortcut. And since I'm the piano player, I often accompany, so I'll start doing piano, um, but I have multiple piano things here. And so I, I, here's my piano accompaniment so I can uh, tag that as my ensemble. So last little thing here, if you wanted to add each of these bookmarks to a set list, you can click over here on set lists. So let's say I wanted to just add it to my Messiah set list, so I can click on that. There's that little check mark saying it's done, so I'll exit out. So then to go into my set lists, I'll just tap on Messiah. And there are all of those bookmarks we just created, which is super helpful for a performance. Say we need to take one out or put them in a different order for some reason, you can do that here with your bookmarks in your set lists. So again, much, much faster, I think, to create an index if you have multiple bookmarks to create in a specific file. So let me know in the comments below what four score indexes would you like to create now? What large works do you have that you can easily break up into smaller chunks? And don't forget to check out my other four score videos. I have a huge playlist of just ever growing tips and tricks for you to check out. Thanks. Have a great day.